Hey guys, Claudius here, and this is the team that I'm bringing with me to clear the Mad Doll Elite stage. I will be doing a physical attack route only, and I'm not gonna be bringing any magician because, yeah, I would like to OTK or two turn kill the phase 2 boss because phase 2 boss has low defense and the spirit is a lot higher than the defense on the phase 1 boss, so it's more manageable to clear phase 1 with physical attacker then phase 2 with magic damage healer so first i have with me here ace ace is gonna be the mp battery that i'm bringing with me and also he's gonna help with summon eidolon with this skill he's gonna be able to summon eidolon instantly and the top hand is a skill that's gonna be a is going to allow well to cast basically defense and spirit buff as well as Mitigation. So that's what Ace is gonna be here for. If his LB is up, he can use the LB to deal physical damage, but with magic attack too. That's why I equip fire and also it's a wild card, which is a physical base type attack. And then I have Heavenly Technician Lid that is gonna break and provoke. This Heavenly Technician Lid is set with 100% evasion with Ring of Lucia, Assassin's Fest. Choose your freedom and dominant spirit here to boost HP and MP. Well, primarily like feel LB gotch for the team and happy purity for the status immunity. So you need to make sure that everyone in your team has status immunity to the ailments. And okay, so basically the boss here and this fight, the map doll has a mechanism where when you hit it with a physical attack, it will counter back. With a physical attack to the unit that hit that hits the doll first. So let's say if Heavenly Nature hit, lit hit with physical attack, all of them, all of them will counter back with, with physical attack to Heavenly Technician Lit. And Technician Lit has an, a breaking seal that will also hit the enemy at the same time. So this will work really nicely here. So she's gonna provoke and she is gonna break the enemy at the same time too, that's her job. And then after you hit it, like subsequent physical attack will not be countered back. So heal, here is my physical damage healer. He's gonna hit the doll, gonna target the doll and chain with the other heal using fire weapon. Same here, immune to the, all of the status, statuses, status ailments. And my heal can only reach like up to 1394 attack. I do not really have a strong heal, but he has a couple killers, Spirit Slayer, and also a Demon Killer here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to one turn kill or two turn kill with my heal and the partner heal. Bash here is going to be the magic tank. Basically, on phase one, the enemy is on enemy only has only has single target physical and single target magic attack. The single target physical will be provoked by CG lit, and the single target magic attack will be covered by Bash. That's what he's gonna do here. High spirit, high defense, that's what you want. And this item is really good one from King Mock event. Chamberlain's expertise will restore HP when you got hit by physical or magic attack. Ideally, this should be placed on CG lit because CG lit will get hit the most, but it should work fine with Bash too. And Lotus Mesh Fina is going to be healer, she's going to re-raise the team, she's going to heal MP, she's going to cure the team. That's what she's going to do. And she's also going to entrust her limit burst to the team. Let's do this guys. So I'm going to start off with lip breaking, so breaking is very important here. Bash will use Cloud Guard for the magic cover. Ace will use Force Hand for the defense spirit buff. Okay, so now what will happen is that I'm gonna be using re-raise on Ace and on Dash because like after this the enemy is gonna be using single target physical and magic attack but it's not covered yet, but it's not provoked yet by CG lit so it can hit anyone. Yeah, the single target magic attack could hit anyone basically. But Dash will cover the magic portion but the physical attack could kill Ace 
So therefore there's the release there. Now that lip is provoking here, the fight is gonna get a lot easier. So I'm gonna start attacking here. And let's see here, I'm gonna put re-raise on CG Lit and on myself, Lotus Mage Fina. Actually, yeah, actually I'm gonna do this instead. So summon Idolo. Okay, re-raise. Here, I'm gonna be using Halim before I forget. So, yeah, I'm gonna be putting re-raise and then Q Raja here. So the Esper missions are done. You can see that the items that Rush use heal the MP of the team. Now I can attack the enemy. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kind of gamble around with this here. So what I'm gonna do is I will break, let's say have late break the defense and spirit of the Kalbarina and then Ace will use Tidy Laser so basically the physical attack Lit will get countered by physical attacks and Lit will cover everything and then Ace here use Tidy Laser and now the Kalbarina or the Brina and the Kal Kalbarina will counter Ace with magic attack which means Ace will die but he has re -raise. or Bash will cover Ace and Bash will die. So if Bash die, Bash will not have the mitigation up, the, I mean the magic cover up, so Lit will die next, which means that I have to use re -raise on CG Lit. It's really complicated here. And Bash will defend, and I'm just gonna pick one enemy to die. Okay. Okay, Bash died, cover and died, so apparently Bash cannot cover next. CG died. Okay, a lot of all health broke loose. Okay. Shouldn't do that anymore. So I'm just yeah. Okay, I shouldn't have I should not have done that. So okay, apparently this one still has the attack and magic break. In that case I'm going to provoke. Bash will use Twilight Guard and Ace will use this top hand to heal up. And the re race, let's see here. Okay, I need to give up some re race on the tank, the two tank. We do not want them to die. Heal will just have to attack again while there's still the buff up, the, the debuff I mean. Re-raise on Ace, just in case. And here, unknown trader. Okay, so that buff from Brina is actually quite huge. So yeah, I'm dispelling it. By the dispel from Hyo is fixed damage. So he will not get targeted. After that, I'll be using attack and magic break. Ace will just use spirit hand. Maybe. Okay, apparently Bash died, so Bash will have to use Twilight Guard. There should be a Force Hand for the Defense buff and Spirit buff. Bash died again. Okay. Wow. Wow. Full life and re race on. On myself, okay. Another buff. 
and definitely it's a attack break, attack damage break. Okay, I forgot whether I did that already or not. Okay, so Lit can provoke this time around, and Bash can use Twilight Guard. Cover O, okay, cover Ally. Ace will use Force Hand. Lotus Mage Fina will use Re Race on Bash and on Sigilit. Here. Hmm. Apparently, okay. I'll have to wait here. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to wait here. So I'll just be using improved stance, maybe. No, I'll just defend. Now I can break the enemy, so let's see here. I'm gonna break. Break. And let me heal some more MP here. And use Manatopia as well. Bash. We'll defend. Kyo can start attacking again. Oh, triple blade, nice. Okay, this one just double blade. That's fine. Damage this ace limit burst can deal, but it's okay, it can wait. I should be using spirit hand instead. And here, Twilight Guard, and here, hmm. Maybe lose attack on myself. Lotus Mage Fina! Yeah, let's do Prime Hill for HP Hill. That's weird that my bash kept dying here. So, okay, turn 10. Okay, I'm gonna start attacking real hard. Way of the void, way of the void. Let's see here. Okay, Sigil will provoke, and this guy will use Force Hand to help bash out dual cast. Re-race, re-race. Okay, this one will use... This one will break the attack and magic from Calvarina. Okay, so since the attack magic is broken really bad, I'm gonna be using Tribe Laser too. And let's see here, Triple Blade. 
Servant of the Blade and Phantom Blade. Triple Blade, Servant of the Blade and Phantom Blade. Okay. One of them is gonna die. I don't know which one, I think. Okay, one of them did well none of them died, but almost died. So yeah, let me just use judgment cross here. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't be using judgment cross. So over here I think my bash is gonna die, so defend and Sigilate is gonna die. Ace is probably gonna die. So let's put re race on Ace and re race on Lotus and Shfina there. Yep. Okay, now clean slate again. This one still has the break, so I am going to provoke. Gradually cover HP. Okay, I'm going to provoke here. This one I'm using Twilight Guard again. This one still has this fire resistance. Okay. Triple blading, servant of the blade. So let's see here which one the highest HP. Okay, this one. I'm gonna kill this. Okay, two die. Nice. So here, um, okay, I should put re race up on Bash on Kuraja. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So I just put re race up on bash and on lift. So I'm gonna cure you for now. Okay, I thought we have re-raise on Ace, but it's fine. Here, full life and re race on lit. Okay, and then here, let's see. Definitely need to have the okay. top hand defense break. Okay, So now that there are only 4 dolls, the attack seems to be getting a lot weaker from what I see here, so it's a good thing. Oh, I can use triple blade. Okay, double blade. Triple blade, starting with flame blade, and then this one will break the defense and spirit. So 
So let's see how much damage we can deal. Wild card. Ooh, one percent. Not bad. Okay, so this is gonna be really, really close. Okay, that's, that was an annoying buff. Which means that, yeah, I need to put up the Provoke here. This one is to put up the buff. And here, I guess. Somebody must use this one unknown trait, dispel, and then Bash will help with the attack and magic break. Here the friend and this one here, Manatopia. No, this time I'm gonna be using Oh, fill LB for all allies. Not really much help you get, but it's a good thing to have. Okay, let's use this one. Spirit hand. Okay, so, okay, we are almost here, guys. I'm starting to lose concentration, but should be able to make it here. Let's see here. Flame Blade, Servant Blade. on the Heavenly Lit and also on Dash. Okay, the enemy's attack is definitely a lot weaker here. So let's see, another one. Okay, there's this one here. Break the attack here. for the MP heal.
Hmm. That was the annoying. Yeah. Suffless take. I believe I did the summon I learned before, or maybe just in case I have not, I should do that after this. It's fine here. And let's see here. So yeah, I'm gonna target this one here. Okay, so I think now it's time for me to start dealing magic or maybe a little bit more. So I'll dealt light magic first since there's nothing to do. From Bash. Whoa, there was a painful magic attack from the doll. Okay, so magic damage done. Here I'll be provoking and Ace will use Force Hand. Here Twilight Girl. I'll just defend. Here, let's see here. Dual cast. Yep, deal water damage and heal. So after this, you just need to deal stone damage. Okay, I think we're gonna kill one more Brina C. Let's see. Wait. Attack me different spirit buff. Okay. Okay, apparently I forgot to do this. Now my Q is gonna get countered. Re race. Oops, sorry. Different one. I'll have to re-raise this heal and re-raise maybe my tank just in case. Okay. Bash will cover and this one just use spirit hand.
Okay, everyone, yeah, is about to die, so... must be some kind of threshold tech where yeah therefore it, it gets so fierce like that crazy lower attack and magic attack and magic okay and okay i need to provoke here let's kill one of the lowest attack one four percent okay so we're gonna delay and Servant of Fear. Great. So twelve percent left. Hmm. Oh great, full MP health, uh, MP heal from the top hand, so that was the highest roll from Ace, nice. Servant of the Blade. Break, attack and magic. Defense and spirit. Okay. Okay, awesome. So missions are to evoke Esper, done. Chain six or more, done. Fire, done. Water, done. Suggesting to deal earth damage. Light was also done. So, okay. This time the Twilight Guard. Everybody must survive here. So Monotopia. And let's just use Spirit Hand. Okay, so this is the earth damage, stone, okay, so dealt all for the elemental damage, and now I'm going to clear this fight with flame blade, servant blade. Okay, finally guys, now on to the second phase. Okay, this is kind of tricky, so what I want to do here, I'm going to divide this into two. Yeah, kind of two turns, so... First, I'll have Heavenly Technician Lit Break. Okay. And I'm going to have a heal use... Servant Blade here, first. Because I, I doubt I can one turn kill. And Ace will use Tribeam Laser. Okay. Bash will cover the magic attack. Okay. Dang. Apparently, Kalbrina is getting really weak now. Hmm. Hopefully I can clear this one here. 
if not things are you know things are gonna be a huge mess Thanks. yeah things are gonna get a mess there so it's just like a little bit more I can just clear that well 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 Hmm, now I just need to wait for... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I think I know what to do now here. Let me untrust lid. Hmm. Okay, so let me see here. Let me try to get this one. I need to wait one more turn. Okay, so Twilight Guard. Definitely need to dual cast re race on these two here. Okay, defend the fan. Here, Sigilet will. Mm. Yeah, Sigilet will keep up the provoke. And this one will use Spirit Hand. I think I can turn this around, guys. I misjudge my strength or heal strength for that matter. Let's see here. Mm, unknown trader. And then let's break the attack and magic again. So now I can use Entrust on Heaven Attention Lit. Ace will. Hmm, spread. No, no more spirit hand needed, just. Force hand. Bash. Cover. And this one here will probably should be using. Selfless state. You know, after 5 turns, that Kalka is gonna turn back into 1 unit. So, yeah, I think I can do this. So, Way of the Void. Way of the Void, okay. It will last for 2 turns. 
so this one needs the okay, cover ally. Okay, cover ally is still up. This one will use, let's see, dual cast, re race, and cure Raja. Okay, so that's done. Heavenly Technician Lit still has the break up, so now need to provoke here. Ace will use top hand for a top defensive buff. Bash will use toilet guard. Okay, great. So now they are merged into one. <laughs> this is kind of like a restart. So I'm gonna do this again now. Break. Okay. And here, Trident Laser. Yeah. Finally, Triple Blade. Server and Seven Blade and Phantom Blade. This should net me the kill here. If I don't mess up at all. Okay, let's do this. There you go. Apparently, you need well 300, 1400 attack and a 2000 attack without demon killer is sufficient to one turn kill this Calbrina. Okay, this is such a long fight. Thank you for joining me this far, guys. I remember to build all the elemental damage or it's gonna be irritating. Anyway, thank you for watching guys, so that's how I managed to clear it. Struggling, but get this job done. Bye bye guys!